89 on up, homies, the show where you gon' get county history. It's told with respect and dignity. Spoken by the half so vividly. He's taking over the industry, giving y'all some domo imagery. Damn you, if you ain't hitting them likes, come on, subscribe. Check out the channel when the bet that will make you decide to tune in every chance you get. It's lit, and some of y'all can learn a bit from this gangster shit. What it do, loved ones, you know the motto, if you can, after the stories over there, hit us with a like, which is a thumbs up, and that'll let us know we kicking our stuff. I want to thank the homeboy G. Lee Deuce for the intro from the legendary monumental historical hip-hop album, Banging on Wax. You can reach him on Instagram at Solid from Day One. YouTube, what's up, loved ones? What it do? Top of the day, top of the morning, and all that. Uh, the young homeboy asked me. He said, "Gee, half." I said, "What's up, homie?" He said, "What's an embarrassing moment you had? A banging, homie. You know the embarrassing moment time with the homies, banging, homie. You know what I'm saying? Rather with the homies or some other guy moves, homie. And I say, embarrassing time, dog is." When I got into it with the homies from Crush Out Mafia, and them niggas took my shoe, homie. That, that, that was like, you know, I felt them niggas trying to embarrass me, homie. You know what I'm saying? But it was all good. We was young, banging it with the bullshit, homie. And uh, I'm going to kick that story, homie. Hold on. <clears throat> well, you two and young homeboys from the Damu world and Damu culture, this story where the homies tried to embarrass me, homie, or I felt embarrassed. This story takes place, homie, in the 90s, homie. You know what I'm saying? Maybe mid 90s, somewhere about 95, maybe 96, 97. It's just something like that, homie. Probably around that time, dog. <clears throat> and uh, at this time, homie, the homies is at an uproar of friction with the homies from Crush Our Mafia, homie. And at this time on the streets, I'm like top YG, homie. You know, I'm top YG at the, at this time, homie. You know, LS, LSD, them, they in YA, California Youth Authority. Certain homies is in the pen, county jails, and all that. So I'm kind of like top YG, homie. And uh, it's a few more homies on the street. But, you know, my name is kind of like ringing as top YG young homeboy and shit. So I'm out here, dog, and sometimes it happens like that in these hoods, homie. You know, homies will fall out with each other, and the homies' numbers will probably be, you know, bigger at one time, and, and, and the next homies' numbers will kind of be slim, you know, or our game is not as thick as the next game. So it, it's all these things that weigh in on time frame and hitting different with when altercations happen, homie. So my time frame is different. You know, a lot of homies is locked up, like I say. And the homies, they kind of got a few more numbers of uh, YGs at that time. Homie, then, then the homies from Inglewood and HP, the homies from CM's numbers is kind of more popping than ours at that time. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so anyway, the homegirls, dog, they going to Hillcrest, homie. It's, it's right between the, the, the Queen Street Bloods. The I-13s be over there, and, and nine four families reside over there, and you had a couple other little cliques and crews that was all pocketed in the area over there. So anyway, the, the young homegirls at the time, they, you know, they G's now, but the young homegirls at that time, they was going to Hill Creek, homie. And I might not have all the names correct of my homegirls that went there, but I knew one of the homegirls named Joy, she, she from the turf, and uh, you might have had a homegirl named Vladia. You might have had a Donisha up there. You might have had a few of these homegirls, homie, that went to Hillcrest Continuation School, homie, that was over there. It was a continuation, homie. So at these times, like I said, social media, social media ain't popping, nor is we playing with hell of a cell phone, uh, cell phones and all that. 
So I think I'm at the spot. And the homegirls call me. Homie call the spot. I call my cell phone or something. So I remember I get the call. I'm like, what's happening? The homegirls are all frantic. I'm like, like, oh, blood, blood. I'm like, what's happening? They like, blood, these niggas up here from Crush Out Mafia. They up here tripping. Acting like they gonna slap a homegirl and all that shit. How about we can't leave the school campus? So I'm on the other end of the phone. Like, blood, what, blood? Blood, fuck all that shit, blood. Fuck them niggas, blood. Blood, we on our way up there, homie. Fuck that mean. Y'all can't leave off no motherfucking school camping. So I guess the homegirl, they like, blood, hurry up and make your way up here. These niggas think disrespected us and all that shit. So I'm like, blood, I'm going to be up there. I'm going to snatch a few homies and I'm going to shoot the fuck up there, homie. And I'm like, stay by the, you know, the doorway or some shit. Don't just go out there where them niggas will put hands on y'all or something like that. So we hang up and shit. So I'm at the spot, homie, when I when I get the call. So I go outside. Like I say, I'm top YG at that time, homie. LSD, me, I'm serving other homeboys in my age bracket. Them niggas is locked up and shit. Serving like main name niggas, homie. But it's up and coming niggas that's, that's out here that's with the business. But they just ain't got the full function and skill as a lot of old timer YGs at that time. You know what I'm saying? They wasn't hella seasoned on altercations, how to move through different altercations and shit. So I grabbed a few, few, no, I grabbed one homie, homie. I, it was just me and one solid other homie. I'm not going to mention his name. I, I snatched the main solid homie up, you know what I'm saying? Good goon homie at that time, homie. You know what I'm saying? So I tell him, I'm like, blood, check this out, blood, the mafia, niggas. They up at, they up at Hillcrest. And they got the homegirls trapped up there. How about they gonna slap the homegirls and they can't leave and come to the hood and shit. You know what I'm saying? So the homie like, is that right? So so what what we gonna do? I'm like, blood, we're gonna get in the car, homie. And we're gonna go up there and we we gonna we gonna see what the problem is, homie. You know what I'm saying? And get the homegirls in the corner doing moving, dog. So the homie like, all right, dog. So bam, homie, we 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 gear up and shit. And we jumped in my vehicle. I think I had like a Caprice at that time, homie. So we jump in, we gear up, we jump in, we jump in the vehicle, and we push out that way, homie. And the mix of us pushing that way, he like, blood, this shit crazy. Cause we kind of short men at that time. We like, blood, this shit crazy, homie. But I'm kind of like a hothead from the turf at that time. So I'm like, blood, that shit crazy. I'm like, blood, I'm hoping that I can go up there kind of really and negotiate and get the homegirls up out of here. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Do a negotiating, hot, you know, do a negotiation, doing a hostage situation and pull the homegirls out of there probably without less tension. So bam, as we push up out of there and I'm talking to the homie, I decide to switch seats and let the homie drive, homie. That way I could, when I could jump out and deal with anything that's popping, I'll be the one that deal with the shit, homie. Cause like I say, the homie, Solid homie, nigga, nigga probably could fight four motherfuckers and handle them, but the homie, he 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 don't hit he, he, his shit ain't gonna think fast enough. If if gunfire erupts, something happen, homie fuck around and get lost in the sauce of fighting and being a being a beast that he fuck around and get down. I ain't gonna be able to save him, grab him, or something happen. So I I tell him, I suggest you blood stay behind the motherfucking wheel, homie. You know what I'm saying? He's like, nah, man, what if a nigga try to put hands on you or this happen? I want to be there to protect you and shit. I'm like, nah, blood, I got that. Don't worry about that motherfucking thing. I don't give a fuck if I'm, you know what I'm saying, getting whooped on. I need you to stay in driving position. I mean, let me handle everything. If I got to dive in the corner and tell you to get on, we'll take it from there. So the homie like, all right, man, all right, blood. You know what I'm saying? He not really feeling it, but he like, all right, you know what I'm saying? He YG, but he up under me at that time, homie. So bam, homie, we pushing. We pushing there. So as we pull up, I see the homegirls standing kind of like on a stairway entrance of Hillcrest Continuation School, homie. I see the homegirl standing like on the, on the entrance step, kind of like ramp way where a wheelchair can kind of go up if I can remember right. So we pull up. And then I see a few pile of homies from Crush Mafia that's that's banged out YGs like us at that time. I mean, it's probably about five homies, if I ain't mistaken. The homies hear this story there, remember? Probably about five, six homies out there from, from Crush Mafia and just me and the homie pull up, homie. 
So, so I just, so, the, so I go and jump out and just to tell you how to, I was on the homie about his, about his thinking and what I need him to do. This how I burnt the homie in. So when we pull up, I jump out. He about to jump out with me. I said, nah, blood, I told you stay behind the wheel, my nigga cake. You know what I'm saying? So as I jump out, I jump out. I'm like, blood, chatting, and blood. You know what I'm saying? I got the curl and banged out. Couple homies out there, they ponytail, bald head, braids and shit, they banged out. I'm like, blood, what's happening? Them niggas like, put, blood, what's happening, blood? I'm like, blood, that neighborhood, like, them niggas like, blood, that crush on mafia, like. I'm like, blood, what's up with the homegirls, homie? Niggas, niggas got the homegirls trapped hollering about, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I snap and go home, bro. Blood, niggas got the homegirls hollering about, the homegirls can't come the fuck up out of here. Got the homegirls trapped, blood, blood, y'all got neighborhood fucked up. Like, I tell the homegirls, come on. In the midst of that, the homie from Mafia, I think, one of the homies, I, don't, I forgot his name, homie Antonio, one of the homies. The homies are known and put it in the comment with the homie name, I forgot. But that's my nigga. We wanted up later on in the game, bracing each other, hugging each other, you know what I'm saying, and locking P's and B's and bringing that Don Mook thing back together like how I supposed to be in behind that old bullshit. So anyway, he, he, when I get burnt out on one, the homie had got burnt out on one. The homie had been a YF thinking, banging too. Tough. So he snapping, going on, but like, blood, who the fuck you talking to? Blood, what the, what the, what niggas, blood, fuck you, nigga, niggas can get out, punk. So I'm like, um, nigga, I don't give a fuck. I'm like, blood, nigga came up here to get the home girls, nigga, woo, woo, woo. So, so a couple more niggas from Mafia there, they like blood niggas, CMs, nigga, niggas like laughing and talking, like, you know, feeling like they did something, got the homegirl. And like I said, it's only me and the homies there. So the homie, so the homie like, blood, fuck that blood, you wanna get out? I'm like, nigga, I don't give a fuck, nigga, what's happening, blood? So me and the homie, we square, we square up out there, you know what I'm saying? I throw a couple jabs and shit like blood, what's happening? We going around, the homie get, try to get off a couple times, I'm backing up, we, we lightweight missing. The homie go, the homie like do some shit and go in, bop, bop, bag bagged me up and shit. So I'm like, what's happening? So I think the homie kind of like, I, as, as he trying to get off and shit, and the nigga trying to like maneuver, I like come up out my shoe, like twist my ankle and come up out my shoe. So I'm out there, I'm out there on, uh, at the, at the, at the, uh, in the school parking lot, I'm locking. I'm locking with like one shoe on him, homie, like trying to maneuver while the homie swinging and all this shit. I'm out there with one shoe on, so I think the homie catch me. Might have dropped me, homie. I'm going to keep it clean. Might have dropped me and shit. I come back up, but I'm still working like blood, blood. I don't like speak blood. You niggas got the nigga fucked up. So, uh, so bam, I don't even know if the homegirls get in the corner or what. Homie, it get real intense out there. So I get in the corner and shit. I get in the corner and I'm whooping like blood. I don't like speak nigga song. Blood, fuck you, nigga. The homies laughing like, nigga, fuck you, nigga, whoopie, whoopie, whoop, nigga, CMT. So I don't, like I said, I don't even know if the homegirls get in the car or what, homie. So my nigga, like I say, my nigga that's with me, he can get out there and fight three of them motherfuckers and probably would have dusted a couple of the homies. So he hot. He hot as a motherfucker. He couldn't get out there with me, homie. So I think we bone out like, blood, come on, blood. So I'm, so I'm hot as a motherfucker, homie. So I come up there with some, some shoes on, homie, some good shoes. At that time that we was wearing, I fall up there with some good shoes on. And I lead back from that motherfucker with one shoe on, homie. I'm hot as a motherfucker, homie. I'm ready to drop bombs, homie. And the homies is taunting the nigga, homie. I think they can have the nigga shoe all like this when I'm driving off. Like, ah, blood, you smile, be a nigga. I'm looking through the rear view, hanging out the window, like, fuck, yeah, nigga, ooh, ooh, ooh. But 89 on up, homie, G stuff, not E stuff. And that was an embarrassing time. But niggas was banging, but I was embarrassed because, homie, I had already been just fighting. And like I said, top YG burnt out, all that shit. And the homegirls called me, and I go up there, and, and it's, it's five or six homies from Mafia, homie. I wind up locking up with a homie, falling up out my shoe and shit. And, and, and niggas take my shoe and tone a nigga and all that shit. And I'm out there talking shit and them niggas talking shit. But yeah, homie, them was the good old times, homie. You know, and I say it was the good old times because nobody was just chunking them and establishing ourselves and establishing this love, homie. 
89, no enough G stuff, no Y stuff. I mean, I'm gonna keep sending history for the young homies to know how this shit really was throughout the city, homie. And shout out to the homies from M Gang that was there, homie. Niggas my age that was there. Dog, if y'all see this, type in and niggas, you know what I'm saying, fill in, hit them comments and all that, homie. You know what I'm saying? I'm out, homie. Much love to my homies from Inglewood and Ice Peak. Much love to the homeboy from Inglewood CMG, dog. I'm out, homie. Be prepared for another one. I'm going to keep it coming. Thumbs up and that'll let us know we kicking our stuff.